recommend a te uh, toner for teenagers. As you guys know, I'm the expert when it comes to teens. And first of all, let me tell you, but before, you know, aside from teens, let me tell you an ingredient that all of you guys should try and avoid, which is alcohol and silicones. Mm. So alcohol strips your face of its natural moisture and you know it evaporates, making your skin drier, which is really not good in maintaining your moisture balance on your skin. Right, and silicon as well. There's good things about it and there's bad characteristics, but the good characteristics is that it feels like it's smooth. Mm. It feels like it's soaking into your skin really quickly. However, there are more bad characteristics. Like there is something called volatile compound, and that sounds kind of fancy, but basically what it means is that it doesn't keep the moisture within but it evaporates mm -hmm. so you don't want that you do want to lock in the moisture mm -hmm. for your skin and another bad characteristic that silicones have is that they form a thin layer so it can block your um, pores oh. it can cause skin concerns breakouts and it can irritate your skin as well and about whiteheads and blackheads that you just asked please stay tuned in because we're gonna answer that for you in the second question second question um, blackheads whiteheads and mm. you know imp something that improves a toner that improves it so we got asked to recommend a toner to get rid of blackheads and whiteheads now this is um mm. this is tricky but we did it yeah. so for this we actually recommend the here i'm gonna bring it out um the mandelic acid prep mm. water so many 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 reviews um this product got many reviews saying that it got rid of whiteheads or seed acne and acne or scars inflammatory acne pigmentation and on and on and on and it's due to the mandelic acid in this product yeah and i know that you guys have probably tried this because a lot of western there's really really love this mm. but it helps to remove that skin cells gently while it provides hyster as well uh, hydration as well and personally i like it because i have really sensitive skin and for me to be able to use a chemical exfoliant it's really tricky because it can really irritate my skin sometimes it damages my skin barrier so i feel like this is such a great gentle exfoliant mm -hmm. but you can add use it as a toner too because then personally i love using it after my toner step as an exfoliant oh. so i think everybody has different ways that you can use this but if you do have concerns of whiteheads if you do have concerns of dead skin cells that builds up so when you put on your makeup your makeup looks all cakey and flaky this is definitely something you want to add to your routine mm. you like oh i did <laughs> okay so can you got uh, can you show them yeah. shall we show them the texture let's go to the v cap yay a close-up can we go a little bit closer yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna show you the texture and my hands got burned because I was trying to make sweet potato um, fry sweet potato So excuse my hands you guys, but I'm gonna show you the texture. It's very very watery It's gonna drip down, but this is perfect. Oh la la. Can you see that? It drips down. It's super 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 watery on your skin and I feel like Every skin type can really use this because it has such a light and fresh texture and I feel like um, a lot of people don't like it when your toner leaves you with that sticky, uncomfortable feeling yeah. and this is so like, this is this can be okay by everyone, you know? I think everybody will really appreciate the texture itself and I love how gentle it is but at the same time, it removes dead skin cells but it provides hydration as well. I can see why you say it makes your skin feel smooth without mm. stripping it with a Stripping it of moisture. Definitely, definitely. I personally though want to recommend that if you do currently have sensitive skin or if you're feeling some type of irritation, use it a little bit later after it gets healthier or use your toner first and then use the mandelic step and that will be perfect toner for you. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So so for those with similar skin concerns, we do want to recommend Claire's Daily Softening Toner. And this is also really popular these days. The, okay, so I'm honestly, I'm actually still testing this out. But number one thing that I love is that it's so humongo. This is 500 milliliters. Mm -hmm. And price-wise, I think this is like the best you can yeah. go. And this also has a really watery texture. It's highly recommended for oily skin types or those that have um, I would, I would say combination too because I do feel some type of oiliness on the T-zone and dryness here but I still feel like this will be wonderful for you guys and this is also very watery I really like using this with cotton pads Oh yeah? How do you use it? 
for me, I use it as like, first of all, I use it um, to gently just wipe away, you know, whatever that's on my skin after I cleanse my face. Or even sometimes I use this as cleansing water as well. Ah, uh -huh. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. then since, because, you know, it's in such a large container, I don't have to worry too much about like wasting the product. Right. So right. I use it generously and it's been making my skin feel super smooth and mm. it helped get rid of like bumps around this part of my face. So it exfoliates really gently. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, I see. So I think if you think about, let's hold up these babies together. I'll hold this one. Thank you, babe. So if you think about their similarities and you're, you're thinking like, oh, what's like, which one should I choose? They both have 4.5 pH level. So those, that's the similarity and that it helps to hydrate your skin and then remove that skin cells at the same time. But the difference, I would say, personally, this one is really gentle because it has 45% cucumber extracts, it has um, citric acid, but it's prescribed very small amounts, so you can use it daily and you get exfoliation, but it's so gentle on your skin. Mm -hmm. This one, I know that it's a type of AHA, it's only 5% mandelic acid, however, it can feel a little bit irritating. So, I say daily exfoliation, this is the way to go. Maybe this one, I would recommend that you use a toner and then use this as exfoliant about 2 to 3 times a week. And then, if your skin's okay with it, you could add in more, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So, I think for like beginners, when it comes to uh, first starting off with like exfoliating toners, no, I would go with this one because it's more easier to just, right. you know, grab and use yeah. and maybe um you know if you want to mm. use both then you could implement it in your routine by choosing you know to use this one during right. your day day routine night routine etc etc all right um i would recommend that you use this in the morning and this mm. at night Yeah, because you know, I have all sensitive, sensitive skin. skin, or I mean, you can say that it's not a skin type, but I do feel sensitivity really often and irritation really often, and I do feel like my skin barrier is damaged like often. So I think that's why we do say sensitive skin type. But we mentioned this in the beginning of uh, the video, the first question that you should avoid alcohol and silicone, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of any age, you know. Yes. But we have other ones, ingredients that we do want to recommend that you do avoid if you have sensitive sensitivity or right now you feel some type of irritation or stinging on your skin you should definitely avoid ethanol silicon steroid artificial coloring artificial fragrance because yes. you're okay with artificial fragrance yeah uh, I am, yeah but, but it's it's not the best for your skin exactly but i feel like if you don't have sensitive skin some people love it like they prefer they need it you know yes. but for me i make sure that i don't use any artificial uh, fragrance as well and then if you want you should definitely avoid um essential oils as well yeah that's true mm -hmm. for me essential oils break me out right and there's other <laughs> exfoliating agents like that it might be um sti uh, stimulating for your skin and another thing is some sensitive skin types they're really like uh, not good with fermented ingredients. You know, recently mm. Wish Trend TV made me wash my face with beer. Yeah, I saw that yeah, one. Yeah, uh, that don't do that, guys. If you want to see what that's all about, you guys gotta see the video mm -hmm. on Wish Trend TV. Yes, yes, yes. I saw the rose water with bread too, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, wow. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. The, Definitely Crazy. avoid beer on your face. Yeah, no, no, no. That's not a good time. <laughs> yes. So if you go to wishchen.com, you can check out what the product is free of. All the yes. products that we're mentioning today here, you'll see that they are ethanol free, silicone free, steroid free, artificial coloring free, and artificial fragrance free. And oh, the camera is like switching. So you guys go check out the website. It'll show you what the product is free of, what the product stands for. It's really easy to see. It's yeah. very simple. Check it out. Yeah, so like if you see right now, this is Claire's um, vitamin drop, and then you just go to the product page, and then it shows you it's vegan friendly. The it shows you the pH level. It shows you what it's free of. So I really love that after the renewal of the site, I think this is so helpful to just see it see. all in one page. You know? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, okay. All right. So, all right. Um, let's move on two toner recommendations. I feel like because I have sensitive skin, can I give the recommendation? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. So since I do have really sensitive skin and I do feel irritation really often, I want to recommend you to two toners that I love from wishtrend.com. The first one is Claire Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. Wow. Oh, oh, thank you, thank I you, thank you. My assistant, thank you. So this is actually, let's go to the beat cam, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we can just kind of get cozy Show and stuff. Show them the texture. Okay, so this is Claire Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. There's actually 
the scented version and unscented version. But this both, it doesn't have any artificial fragrances. However, this does have essential oils in it. But some people that have extremely sensitive skin types, like they really want to avoid essential oils. But for me, I, I'm okay with essential oils. So personally, I would say that I like this one a little bit better because I feel like it has a little bit deeper of hydration. Uh -huh. But this one too, the texture is really viscous and um, it soaks into your skin really fast and I love how hydrated my skin feels afterwards. This is a new one, so I'm going to take off the top. Okay, I'm going to show you the texture here. I always say that this has a texture exactly like my runny nose. Oh. <laughs> is that TMI? But doesn't it? It's like exactly like your runny nose. It's not too watery, mm -hmm. but it sinks in slowly <laughs> down to your face. <laughs> uh, in Korea, um, they actually do use this pyeon called Kongmer Jaehyung uh, Toner, which um, describes the viscosity of the toner, which is kind of gross. If yeah. you think about it. <laughs> think about it. Yeah. But it's exactly how I do want to describe it. It's not too watery either, so my skin feels really hydrated afterwards. However, it doesn't have any sticky nor uncomfortable yeah, it feeling. It doesn't feel like a serum or an essence, mm, but mm. it feels like a, you know, a slightly thicker toner. Exactly. Yes. So um, I want to highly recommend this too because it has two of my favorite ingredients. It has Centella Asiatica and also has Ethanol. So those ingredients are very soothing and hydrating as well. Um, personally, I would say that I think all skin types will love it, but if you are sensitive to essential oil, definitely check this toner out. Um, if you have oily skin too and you want that hydration, so you have like oily dehydrated skin, so you want that hydration but you don't want that uncomfortable feeling left on your skin, you guys will definitely love this too. In our prior research and the little like, you know, communications we've had with the staff, I actually recommended this toner for all skin types. Mm -hmm. So this is hands down one of my top favorites mm. because it is so just versatile and you could use it in any sort of occasion. Right. You could use it to wipe away dead skin cells, you could use it to moisturize even if you have combination, yeah. dry, oily. I would say this is a very easy to go when use toner. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, so this is a really good one too. And um, should we move on to the next one, please? Okay, so okay. the second toner. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so the second recommendation I want to recommend is, oh my gosh, I talked about it so much though, you know? But this is I from Mugworth Essence. And I know the name is Essence, but I use it as a toner. Yes. And actually, you guys can also use it as a toner. It's like a first essence for me. Um, this has a little bit waterier texture if you compare it to this one. But hold on, let me go to this from the texture. Yes, I'm gonna show you this way because I don't want to... Oh, okay, thank you so much. We have a little bowl here because I was like dripping all over the carpet. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you the texture here. Ah! I know I shouldn't favor certain products, but this is one of my favorite, favorite toners. And I feel like if you have all, all skin types would be okay too. But if you also have acne prone skin, you will really love this one as well. And then if you have sensitive skin, mugwort is such a great ingredient to um, calm your skin and at the same time it's good for inflammation as well. So you know around this area, can you see if you look closely, there, I have little breakouts here and it helped a lot with my redness around the cheeks area, around my mouth area and the T-zone. Yeah. So I feel like this is a really good one for sensitive skin types. So speaking mm -hmm. of this mugwort essence, so mm -hmm. in the back it says 100% mugwort, you know, um, extract, right? right. But um, actually I did some research on this product mm. and I want to read you guys out something really quick just about this product, okay? Right. Um, so the I'm from mugwort essence is made from mugwort that's forged in Gangwha, Korea and it's used, it uses purified water as a solvent. So it contains extract that went through the 24 hours of extraction process and after this process they don't add any more water. Mm. So I just thought that there might be some confusion in terms of the 100%. Although the process includes three to four more solvents other than water to safely extract mugwort, these solvents are there to help with the extraction only, and therefore it's not required to be on the ingredient list according to the Korean law. That's why we label this product as 100% mugwort um, essence of mugwort extract product okay yes. so yeah just to clarify because you guys might think how is this a hundred percent you know what I mean right yes. right so it's like a one single product and there's so many in the market now like mm -hmm. one single you know, product uh, ingredient a hundred percent of this or that yeah. but seriously I am from from all the mugworth like hypes these days yeah. this is the very first product that came it's out the OG yeah this is like one of the OG products that did come out and a lot oh, of people, I love the smell it, it smells really mm -hmm. good it's my chihang <laughs> 
Um, a lot of people are like, oh, Mugworth is uni on his son. Because <laughs> I talked about it so much yeah. and I really like it. Toners that can help with skin tones mm -hmm. and skin textures as well. Mm -hmm. I think this is really important. And there are some ingredients you should definitely look for in your toners if you want that brightening effect or if you want that effect to even out your skin tone. Mm -hmm. And for brightening effect, you should definitely look for green tea water, rice extract, and one of my favorites, niacinamide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we want to recommend you to actually um, that one right there. This is. Uh, Claire's Daily Skin Hydrating Water, right here for you. And another one is the Rice Toner. Hold on, let's look. This is right here. We have a lot of recommendations for oh, this one. This is the I'm From Rice Toner. And one more, we have this one, yeah? Yeah. The Claire's Fundamental Ample Mist. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Should we leave it on top? <laughs> Do you want it? Do you want to take no. it home? So, so it's, whoa, I'm like, dropping oh. everything. So it's a known fact that green tea water helps with hydration, skin mm. tone, and antioxidation. I'm like trying to see which one I need to look at. Oh. And on top of that, it also, um, it's very important that it contains panthenol. And we mentioned that it has this like soothing anti-inflammatory ability. Oh. So I'm going to show them this one. This is yeah. the one with green tea. I'm going to put this on. This is a cucumber one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, I can't see. Oh. Do you guys it's see? Super watery. Yeah, it's it's very watery. Right, right. So, um, like I did uh, mention with the other big toner, mm. I use this also as a moisturizing but um, cleansing as well. A first stage of cleansing, and it really helps. And it helps people with dry skin because it absorbs really fast, but mm. it has hydrating properties. Right, right. Do you guys see how fast that's soaked up? It doesn't just feel like water. It still has that hydrating agent mm. without feeling like it's kind of like. How do, how do you explain that? That won't soak it, that yeah, just yeah, sits yeah, yeah, yeah. on top of your skin. It doesn't feel mm -hmm, like that at mm -hmm. all. So it's really, really smoothing. Definitely. Um, um, some of my favorites here I wanted to mention is the... Oh, Whoa! Oh, oh I, I caught that. This is the Claire's Rice Toner and obviously... Claire's? Uh, sorry, um, I'm from Rice Toner and obviously the main ingredient is rice like the name itself. And the cool thing about this one, when you first get it, it's like divided into two sections. It has like a watery type and then it has a little bit of the oil on top. So when you put it on, the best thing about um, this toner is that it's hydrating, but at the same time, it does have a brightening effect. Mm -hmm. um, it Like back in the days in Korea, we used rice water yeah, to too. wash our face. Because it made like the face clearer. And right, like right. Clearer and, yeah. So definitely, I want to highly recommend it if you do want to brighten up your skin tone, if you currently have dull skin, if you feel like no matter what you're using at the moment, it's like your skin is just not working and it's not like getting into that good condition, this is a really good toner to check out. I would say the only con about it is that it's very nourishing and it does have this kind of rich feeling. So it, the texture itself is super watery. I never tried this one. I ah, do you want to try yeah, it? Yeah, I want to feel the texture. It's watery, but it gives you like this film, like moisture film feeling to it. Huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So nice. that's really not something that I expected. Yeah. Do you, do you see what I mean? It's watery, right? It's, it drips down. I mean, what oh, it has this like hydrating feeling to it yeah. and it's watery, but it's not like like water. Like, yeah. I can't so explain. If you are um, mm. like toner lovers and you guys love like cream toners, you know these days it's really uh, popular. It feels kind of like that. It's hydrating, it's watery, but at the same time it has a little bit of a rich nourishing feeling to yeah, it. Yeah, it so. definitely has that nourishing Right, set. right. Mm. So I think a lot of people will love it if you do have dry skin, but you still want that kind of brightening effect at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one is the Fundamental Ample Mist. Mm. This is one of my favorites because first of I really like the container, like how it, um, right. the application itself, right. it's a mist, mm. but uh, usually what I do is get out of the shower or whenever I'm, you know, after cleansing, I just spray it on my face. And this contains green tea, it contains rice extract, it contains mugwort, so it has everything that we've been mentioning mm. to soothe your inflammation. Yeah, definitely. And this one, I love using it just right next to my shower, Me right? too, me too, oh. me too. You come out of the shower and before, like, just right after, you just spray it on and then you go to your bedroom and then do what you gotta do. And so. I feel like the spraying application really mm. helps 
deliver that cooling effect right. without you know making your skin feel like it's drying right, I really right. like this yeah and I, I remember like um, Alexa who actually uh, was one of the person that actually uh, was in the team to make this toner she recommended this tip of putting on your toner and then misting putting on your serum and then misting a little and then cream and then misting too so kind of you can layer layer, layer your moisture and you can actually lock it in so mm -hmm. that's a really good tip as well nice mm -hmm. All right, so let's compare the three toners, yeah? So to compare mm. these three toners that we've talked about of skin tone improvements, so mm. we've talked about these and then we've talked about this one, is um, we have to talk about the ingredients. So that, well, for the ingredients of the fundamental ampule mist, this definitely contains a lot of active ingredients right. that's soothing, hydrating, like mm -hmm. the rice extract. So yes, um, this one's very uh, active. Right, right. I feel like if... Definitely, if you're looking for something that's worth the money and if you want something a little bit more affordable, yeah. this will be a good one to invest on. Mm. 500 milliliters, you can use it for both day, both night routine. Um, you can layer layers and you wouldn't feel stingy with it, yeah. you know? Yeah, you'll yeah, be yeah, like, yeah. <sighs> you'll be generous with it's the really amount. It's really long lasting. And right. something that I really like doing with mm. this as well is, you know, applying a lot of it on a cotton pad and just using it as like a face mask sometimes right, right. when I need that, you know, inflammatory, like soothing feeling. Definitely. Okay. Um, I'm gonna break it down for you guys, the scents and vegan approved toner. So let's talk about that today. I know that a lot of people definitely uh, are sensitive to scents. Uh, we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, but this is mm. like really difficult for me. Whenever we talk mm. about scents, um, it's really difficult because I personally love products with a nice like, you right. know, no, nothing too crazy, but right. something with like a little bit of a scent to it. Mm. Uh, it's always mm. been like my personal um, preference. preference. Oh. So the supple preparation toner contains like a natural essential essential oil mm. which has this slight grass aroma sort of like smell mm -hmm. um, and if you don't like it you can always go with the unscented version right, but right. for me I actually prefer this even mm. though I like the texture of this I prefer this because of the smell yeah I think it depends on each person mm. like for me I like essential oils and they're okay for my skin even if though I have sensitive skin essential oils is fine for me and I really appreciate essential oils rather than artificial fragrances mm -hmm. you know so it does depend definitely on personal preferences but yeah you've mentioned um, that you want to know what's vegan friendly and cruelty free so let's do that all okay. right so every single one of the products here, here hold on Oh. We're gonna put so, it back. <laughs> so, so, so. Uh, first of all, I want to go in and mention that all of the products that we've mm. mentioned today are cruelty free. So, yes. let's get out, that out of the way. Yes. No need to worry about that. Yes. Now, let's ta um, take out the ones that aren't vegan. Just this one. Yeah. I'm from Rice Toner is not vegan, but everything like else everything. that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, a lot of these products are really, really friendly for a lot of you guys um, who are looking out for these sort of factors. Right, um, they're right. very friendly to you. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Oh. So once again, I think it's really wise that you go to the website. Be picky, you guys. Be picky mm. with what you're you know, putting your money into. Uh, be picky with your purchases. Make sure that all the factors that you want to avoid, like we talked about, you know, um, silicone and alcohol or other things make sure that you are picky with your products go to the website check it out before you make the purchase mm -mm. so like another thing that i really want to mention is um here we have everything researched mm. on what these products are free of but again if you go into the website it's super easy to see um it's labeled very simply so please go check that out if you want to know if they're free of you know silicones you know colorants uh, steroids right. etc so right now we've talked about all our toner recommendations if you have any questions feel Feel free to ask us. We're gonna actually answer them for you right here. Someone asked, um, uh, JC asked, mandelic acid is almost too strong for my sensitive acne prone skin. Any suggestions? Well, okay, then I would personally say that if it's too strong for you, definitely this one. This is the Clearest Daily um, Skin Softening Water. Mm -hmm. This contains natural exfoliant, which is sugar cane extracts, and it has small prescription, like very small amount of citrus, um, citric acid. So it'll be okay for you to use daily. Yeah, it won't mm -hmm. feel like an AHA product. And even if you used an exfoliating product within your routine that day, this is still okay to use. It's that gentle, so keep that in mind. And actually, cucumber water itself is amazing for hydration. Mm -hmm. So I think you will be able to get two 
effects at the same time. Okay. Should we finish off with our chant? Chant. I really like yes. that one. Yes. So I'll do it this time. Thank you. Everyone, when I say we, you say got you. We got, got you. you. We got, got you. you. Thank you guys. And let's say bye to everyone. Don't mm -hmm. forget to follow us on our Instagram as well at Wish Trend TV. Hey April. Hey JC. Everyone that's joined in with us today, please join in with us on future lives because we will have more giveaways, more exciting information. Also, please follow us at Wish Trend TV on Instagram. Um, I love how everyone joins in with us when we do the chant. Everyone's like, got you, got you, got you. Yeah. And one second, I, I had a cold, so I'm so sorry, guys. If oh, I, you sounded wonderful. Was it okay? Yeah, if okay, I get sick guys. tomorrow, then I'll give you a call. <laughs> this is all my fault. Yes, yes, but yes. I don't know how it is in your country right now, but please watch out for colds, okay? Stay healthy, guys. Stay healthy. And mm. for you wish trenders who missed out on bits of the live today, don't mm. worry, we will have an edited, awesome version of the live up very, very soon. And if you have more skin care tips that you want to know about, then subscribe to us on Wish Trend TV. Okay, thank you guys so much, and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! Everyone's like, Anya!